Hello and welcome to Brawl Jewel. Today we're taking a look at the Immersive World Encounters mod. This is a mod that expands on the random events in the game by offering roughly 50 entirely new ones for you to encounter. Unlike some of the other encounter mods out there, it doesn't rely on randomly placed NPCs or creatures to fill Skyrim's world. Instead, the mod takes the vanilla approach to encounters. It's also highly customizable and the author has big plans for its future. But first, let's take a look at the encounters. In Skyrim, random encounters can be broken down into two categories. World Encounters and World Interactions World Encounters are random events that occur while exploring Skyrim's wilderness. These are usually triggered in specific locations and are designed to break up any monotonous gameplay. You only have to play Skyrim for an hour or two before spotting one. Whether it's some Imperial soldiers escorting a Nord captive or a Red Guard woman being harassed by two Alakir warriors. Sometimes these events are hostile, other times they're just interesting to look at. And on occasion you're given a choice, and depending on what you choose, the outcome changes. World interactions on the other hand are when NPCs react to the player's activities. These can happen anywhere, but are obviously more likely where there's a bunch of NPCs. An example of this will be when you take a seat in a tavern and the waitress runs over to ask for your order. Or when you drop a weapon in public and the NPC reacts in one of a few different ways, asking you to pick it up or asking if they can take it for themselves. Both of these types of random encounters work fairly well in vanilla. The only real issue is how repetitive they eventually become. Once you encounter the more unique and interesting events, you're essentially put on a loop of the more generic ones until the end of your playthrough. Immersive world encounters alleviates the repetition in a few ways. First, it adds around 50 new random encounters, most of which fall into the world encounters category I mentioned earlier. Then it makes some key changes to certain vanilla encounters. And then finally, it offers a customizable approach to encounters as a whole. These new encounters are spread across all of Skyrim and even go as far as the often forgotten Solstein. Some of the encounters are inspired by the vanilla ones, but have twists to give them a unique edge. So instead of only ever seeing Imperials and the Thalmor escorting a Nord captive, now you can see the Jarl's Thane marching a prisoner while on horseback. On top of that, Skyrim's roads will now be filled with working bounty hunters, also escorting their bounty. Bounty hunters are also much more likely to aggressively defend their prisoner, since the bounty on their head requires the prisoner stays alive. Some of my favourite new encounters revolve around Skyrim's factions. The mod adds over a dozen new encounters spread across the various factions in the game, from the Companions, to the Thieves' Guild, to the Dark Brotherhood. The types of events you'll see will depend on whether you're a member of that faction, as well as how far you've progressed in each of their quest lines. So as you continue to progress in your playthrough, the faction encounters will continue to change and evolve over time. What I like the most is that the encounters use the actual NPCs, instead of generic ones. You'll spot the actual companion members occasionally going on a hunt. And instead of seeing a generic Dark Brotherhood assassin fulfilling a contract, you'll see Cicero's bloodbath. We don't want to give too much away, but some of these faction encounters in particular come with unique visuals too, or are handled in an interesting way. After all, these are some of the most talented and skilled NPCs in all of Skyrim, and their encounters reflect that. As of right now, the mod also features two encounters that come with fully voiced dialogue. One features a young boy playing with a sword in the wild, and the other is the spirit of a boy that's scared and wants to go home. These events come with a level of depth that you wouldn't expect from your average modded encounter. They both feature short quest lines where the outcomes change depending on your actions and reactions to each encounter. In the future, the author hopes to add around 20 more unique voiced encounters to the game. In fact, he's also written over a thousand lines of dialogue. He just needs talented actors to voice them. He's already working with eight voice actors, but he needs more. So if you think you can help, we'll include a link for the audition page down below. There's plenty of other new world encounters that we'll leave for you to discover for yourselves in game. However, also keep an eye on some of the vanilla ones, since the mod expands on a couple of those too. For example, a random adventurer would sometimes mention how they were off to a nearby dungeon to solve a problem. They then mark the location on your map and walk away. However, with the mod you can now choose to join that adventurer on their quest and even receive a reward from the Jarl at the end of it. This turns a minor 10 second interaction with a generic NPC into a potentially hour long questline with a new temporary companion. As for the world interactions, these are fewer in number but no less appreciated. These vary from new drunken fights when you enter a tavern, to petty thieves mugging NPCs right in front of you. The mod also opens up dragon attacks in all of the major cities, so now nowhere is safe from the ongoing dragon crisis. As I said earlier, the mod is highly customizable. In the mod menu you can adjust how common the new encounters are, even setting them to happen more often than the vanilla ones. You can also individually toggle almost all of the annoying vanilla encounters on or off. So if you're sick of the fugitive that hands you something to hold while he runs away, then you can toggle it off. The mod is also fully compatible alongside every other population mod out there, even the ones that add their own new encounters. These types of mods are fantastic for keeping Skyrim fresh, and Immersive World Encounters is definitely one I'm adding to my next playthrough. Hopefully by then these work in progress voice encounters are completed. 
to give the mighty goal for yourselves, you can find everything you need down below. And as always, be sure to leave endorsements on any mod you enjoy. Once again, we'd like to thank Rave for sponsoring this episode. Rave is an app for both Android and iOS that lets you seamlessly watch synchronized videos with friends from anywhere in the world. Whether it's on YouTube, Reddit, or even Netflix, the app syncs everything up for everyone in your party, letting you text and chat at the same time. It even supports virtual reality. To get it today, you can find a link for your app store down below. And that's the end of today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.